Okay, well, there you go. That's what's on our phone. Okay. What's well, on yours? Well, on my phone, well, I don't have a phone. I have a CD player. <laughs> you have a CD I'm player? I'm still celebrating the CD because yeah. I was fortunate enough to get several of them from Ooh. the library. Right. That's still on my mind. I think my play about the CD, I'm going to update it because the consequences for education should education follow the same route as music has gone could be profound uh-huh. I think it's all worth worth having a good look at um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think about this during the um, street arts festival because um, there's different things going on I don't think Access All Aerials are going to have their studio working I haven't heard anything about that you might ask them, when you lost in your phone next, JD, try and find out if Access All Aerials is live at the moment and if they have any plans for a radio studio during not this Saturday, Saturday week. Because that would be that would be a very good thing if they could manage that. But um, if that doesn't happen, I shall go to Sidwell Street and observe what's happening there because there's going to be dance music but I don't think there's going to be any CDs. But you're also doing a show down here as well, aren't you? Well, I've, yes, the, the Well Raver, you know, this has all happened. I'm not sure what the sequence was, but the net result is that the Well Raver is not doing their show on Saturday evening. They're doing a, 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 an event at the EX4 nightclub which is at one end of the city. I think that's at the 4th Street end of the city. But at the other end of the city, in Sidwell Street, now they know about the Exeter Street Arts Festival, they're doing a completely free open-air set uh, between 1 o'clock and 5 o'clock. And that's the bit I'm going to study and think about how that works out for um, education. Maybe this is where the internet is taking us. About half of what you do has got to be free and open and widely uh, available. Whatever you do, don't ask me about education. I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is? No, I know. No. Well, we, but we, we've, we're the students of the MOOC, JD. We're, we're students, are we? We know about the MOOC. OK, I'm well, off we've to been the talking pub, about then. it. <laughs> You're what, sorry? I'm off to the pub then. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> You're not getting rid of the floor and ceiling. <laughs> oh, oh no! Well, that was another one. That was design. <laughs> but that was, but that was, well, that was based on a a, a lecture, Gibson Burrell lecture that was available on the web, or the, on YouTube. At one point, that's all we had. That was the start of a MOOC. We had a lecture and s- discussion around it. Uh, so you can, we knew about. We'd know enough to design something something or another so you think edu- when you hear the word education you just go to the pub and do you then well t- I go to well, the coffee shop the coffee bit, shop yeah I think the coffee yes. shop a bit more <laughs> it's got a better, better sort of better atmosphere and reputation hasn't it <laughs> yes. there is the coffee shop you don't get drunk well you can get pretty silly on caffeine <laughs> yes. I would say yeah two, two lattes would be very risky very risky well I had two yesterday and you might have another one today later on. Yes, so you better watch it. <laughs> but um, anyway, that's 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 the, that's my next stage is to is to have a look at what happens to dance music during that day, and then see what might happen to. Well, you, you say you seem a bit frightened of education, JJ, but if if it just sort of turns up in a MOOC or online or something or another, I'm frightened of people don't need to be educated. People already know. They already know. They already know, because if you are, if you a teacher asks you a question, you must know the answer to. They hope that's the case. That's the hope. They hope the case, but I think, in in reality, I think you do know the answer. But there's lots of things which we don't really know. All right. Okay. Where are you we, now? Well, oh, well, at the <laughs> moment, I'm I'm in the phonic studio. You are right. Okay. Well, but but I'm, is the. <laughs> is the is the um, when they look at the balance sheet for the festival, yeah. sometime next week, not next week, the week after? Yeah. Will they be happy with what they see? Is it is it actually sensible to put on loads of free entertainment all over the city 
in the hope you'll sell enough tickets to um, recoup the cost of the posters. Do you think... I don't think we know whether that's true or not. Well, and somebody uh, probably does know. Yeah. In theory. But is the... Is the um, the, the Academy of Street Art marketing and um, merchandising and balancing the books. Have you ever come across such a, an institution? Well, I think, you know, people are too much into books. And oh. they believe other, what other people have ri are written. And if we don't make our own decision of it, mm -hmm. then uh, you'll go around and say, well, in that book there, he told me to do that. Yes. In that book there, you go, I've got to drink water. In that book there, you know, I've been told what to do. And I, I think that's... We don't need to be told. We right. Know. We so ba know. balancing the books, forget about it, really. Uh, yes. We're, we're, not, we're not bothered. The, the books are there just for pleasure. That's all they are. Oh, OK. They're, they're not reality. <laughs> no. Okay? Right? No. OK. The reality comes from being taught by some, with somebody else's own experience. Right. Okay. Would that be you? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll do, we'll stay with our own experience, perhaps. I think mm -hmm. too. 